Hi, welcome back to the bench. Today, once again, we have a TA-83 Plus. I'm trying to get a couple of these working for my kids and myself. And um, so I'm buying them broken on eBay in the hopes that I can get them working again. So far, we've had one working, at least reasonably well. So we're going to try to get this one working. And this one has issues. It uh, won't display at all. I believe it is possibly um, the Pardon me, I'm thinking while I'm talking. I believe it is possibly a ba the battery connector might be giving off problems. So we're going to do a quick uh, battery test. This battery is, yep, good. Let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, well, it's getting something. And it should be working if the connectors inside work. And according to this, there's no connection happening. If I'm getting the contacts. There's no voltage getting inside, and that suggests to me that the battery contacts are not connecting to the board. That is a common problem with these calculators, apparently, where these pins don't connect with the board anymore. And I can't see anything about that inside. So I'm going to check it one more time. Yeah, I'm getting weird readings. Well, that might be the connector. Not connecting. Because I'm not getting anything good. So let's open this up and take a look inside. I took the screws out already. I know these batteries are just charged. I just just charged them up. So we'll take a quick look. Okay, so these pins are touching right on the worn pads. This hook here and this hook here connect with these pads here and here. And if you can see it, I'm not sure you can, but there's a dark, a couple of dark spots on there. And those dark spots are worn out. They're worn out areas on the contacts. So that means these have been 
rubbing there for some time and you can just bend the pins back into a new location with a pair of tweezers that like that let's try this one again and we'll see maybe that did the job Definitely in a new location. So let's put the batteries back in and see what this thing says. And here we go. Still nothing. I might have left something unconnected inside. Let's take a quick look. No, still no display. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? Well, let's take it open. Let's open it up and take a real look. Completely open it up. Connections look good. Nothing looks broken. Still not getting current.
If the batteries are doing their thing properly, 5 volts, 5.7 volts. And yet, nothing. So that is really interesting. Okay, let's try that. If that doesn't work, I'm at a loss. Actually, that's right where it used to be. Well, that happened. <laughs> so there you go, folks. Um, that is all that was all wrong with it, uh, was the display. It was the battery connectors. So there's a lesson in there, I think. Um, I honestly was about to give up, thinking that I had not figured it out. But, um, yeah, it works. I don't know if you can see that, but it's working fine. And it's the battery connectors. I was about to give it up, thinking it was something I couldn't quite get. But the battery connectors can sometimes be faulty. They can just be uh, not touching the pads. So, let's say this is one of the wires and this is one of the pads. The pads do not, they're not soldered on, they're connecting like this. And so the pad will wear over time and eventually wear through. The salt, uh, wear through the contact area and not make a contact anymore and you'll get no power and you won't have a working calculator. So if you can take that pin where it's worn through and then bend the pin like this and then it contacts over here now, then you'll make contact again for a while. Now this is not a permanent fix, but it is a fix. Uh, eventually I might have to solder those pads. It looks ugly when you do that, but it's on the inside and nobody's going to notice. Um, yeah, and the result is that a simple fix like that, just bending those contacts, gives you a working calculator. So now that's basically two working calculators. So that's good. Um, this calculator over here that I did have working for a while has disappeared. Where'd that go? Oh, there it is. This one here I had working for quite a while since the last video and it stopped working again. And I think, given the symptoms, one of these pins is disconnected again. So I'll put it back together to show you. Sorry about that, the battery quit, or the camera turned off. So I'll turn that. I'll take these batteries, put them in this one, and show you what this calculator does. Which is another sign that the screen is probably not getting connected. Now this, see that? I don't know if you can see that. The weird gibberish on the screen. 
um, like that is typically an indication that there's a disconnect between the main board and the display board. So that tells me again that one of the pins is not working. That would be an easy fix. And we will do that next time. But anyways, meanwhile, thank you for tuning in. We got this calculator working. And these are very old. These are about 20, year old, 20 years old, these calculators. They've been well used. So they're bound to be a little bit rickety. However, you can get them working again. Now this one seems to be working. Yeah. test cool well thank you thank you for tuning in um, yeah if your calculator your TI series calculator is not getting juice do a quick probe test down here see if those pads are connecting if not bend the pins like I showed you and then um, it should work again. If you have any questions, feel free to ask down below and I'll try to answer them. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Take care.